This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 9-10, problem number 30. Eight consecutive three-digit positive integers have the following property. Each of them is divisible by the last digit. What is the sum of the digits of the smallest of the eight integers? A, 10, B, 11, C, 12, D, 13, or E, 14. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. So let's, to start, let's think about the different ranges of numbers that we could have in that last digit, such that these eight consecutive numbers, the last digit divides the entire three digit number. Well, we realize that we can't have the last digit be zero because we can't divide by zero. So what other what groups of eight consecutive numbers don't include zero? Well, we can have from one to eight or from two to nine as our last digits. Again, we're avoiding zero because we can't divide by zero. So continuing on, the problem tells us that with number ABC, a three digit number, right? The last digit C is able to divide it. Well, we can take our number ABC and write it as AB with a zero in the ones place plus that last digit C. So when we divide these two numbers, we're summing together. Again, this must be the integer because C is supposed to divide the number ABC. So we end up with AB0 over C plus 1. And obviously 1 is already an integer, so we know that this part, AB0 divided by C, must also be an integer for their sum to be an integer. So that means that again, AB0 must be divisible by C. So now, Let's, let's start with this group of numbers, test it out, see what we get, and then try the second one. So again, our first group, we're going to say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 as the Cs. So what we want to do is figure out an, what the number AB0 must be in order for it to be divisible by all these different C's. Well, how do we do that? We want to find the lowest common multiple of these numbers. So one way to do that is to write down all these numbers in their prime factored form. And then you remember, in order to find the lowest common multiple, we multiply the highest exponents of each factor. So we have twos, the highest exponent of two is two to the third. We only have three to the first, that's the highest exponent of three. We have a multiple of five and seven. So what's the lowest common multiple of all these numbers, all these different c's? It's 840. So our a, b, zero is equal to 840. So our consecutive numbers would be 800, oops, 841, 842, and so on until 848. So this seems pretty good so far. They're all three digit numbers. Let's see what happens if we choose two, three, four, up to nine. So again, we want to put them in our prime factored form. And for the lowest common multiple, it's basically the same as over here. But here we have a 9. So our highest power of 3 would be 3 squared. So what you'll notice is that our a, b, 0 is too large. We can't have anything in the thousands place. We need to have a 3 digit numbers. That's why this does not work. 
we know that we definitely have the numbers 1 through 8 as RC. So out of all of these numbers, this set of eight consecutive numbers, what is the sum of the digits of the smallest? So the smallest is 841. The sum of the digits is 8 plus 4 plus 1, which is equal to 13, and that is answer choice D. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.